Well, hello there. Has this ever happened to you? You're in the middle of teaching a great lesson and all of a sudden a message pops up on the board and it says powering your board down in 98765-4321 and your students decide to tell you when you've got three seconds left. Yeah, that's happened to everybody. Well, it's like that from default when the board is first set up. BenQ is a incredibly efficient company and they want to save power as much as possible. So they've designed the board to stay on until it has a minimum of 30 minutes of inactivity and then it will power itself down, all right? Sadly, in the classroom, we don't always hover around the board and make sure that we're touching it within 30 minutes, all right? It might be 31 minutes or 55 minutes. So we can adjust those settings today. So if you're interested, Buckle up and let's get started because we're going to walk you through step by step how to adjust the power settings for the board. Now, spoiler alert, you have to have a login in order to do this. Now, some schools have decided, hey, we're not going to give our teachers logins to the board. We're just going to keep the login and we're going to come down and adjust the settings as needed. If that's the case, send this on to your administrators and they can go and adjust the board for you. In addition, they may have sent you an email a while back that says set up your own account. Sadly, you only had about 72 hours to set that up. And if you didn't set it up within 72 hours, the link expired. So you're going to have to go and contact your administrator and they'll send you another link. I have a video down below that walks you through step by step once you have that link, how to set up your BenQ account, giving you access to a ton of different things like changing your wallpaper, adjusting this time, and creating links and bookmarks and lots of cool things like that. So if you're interested, check out that link below. But first, let's go ahead and get started in adjusting our board, all right? So I'm going to jump over to my board right here, and I've cheated just a little bit. Instead of walking over and recording myself in front of the board, I plugged in a wireless mouse and keyboard so that you can see what I'm doing on the screen, all right? So as I'm moving my mouse around, just understand that's just like me tapping the screen. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, is go down to this gear right down here in the corner. So when I click the gear, up pops this menu. Now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, and we can see this gear. What you want to do is go over to the device tab at the top. Then you want to click display. Once you have the display up, you can see there are three different settings right off the bat. The first one is said sleep mode and it's set to 10 minutes. You don't want 10 minutes. You can change it to four hours, two hours, whatever you think is appropriate. In this example, I'm going to change mine to just off because this is my demo board from BenQ and I don't want it to go off when I'm doing a demo. All right. The next one is power off mode. I'm going to click on this and it says after one hour, it's going to power off. I don't want it to power off after one hour. I'm uh, responsible enough most of the time to shut things off when I leave the room, all right? And the last one is power save mode. So if you click on power save mode, same deal. After so many hours, it's going to just shut itself off. I'm just gonna click off and then the thing will never shut off, okay? So that's how you do that, nice and easy. I'm gonna jump back to this main screen here. Now the second thing that you wanna do is go down to where you have your name in the lower corner, okay? So if I click on my name in the lower corner and I'm gonna click on this guy right here and we're zoomed in a little bit, I'm gonna to go to where it says personal settings. I'm gonna click there just once. And then there's a button there that says auto log off. And that means after 30 minutes, it's gonna log you out, all right? So if you're logged into the board and you're, you have an app open or you have Easy Write 6 open and you're writing and you've stepped away from the board for at least 30 minutes, it'll automatically log you out. You don't want that either. So I'm going to click auto log out and then I'm going to click never. Now that has set it so that it will never shut down. It will never automatically log you off. You are 110% responsible for shutting your BenQ board off at the end of the day when you leave, unless you follow this bonus tip. All right. So I'm going to jump back to the center here. And again, I'm going to go down to where that gear is. I'm going to click on the gear and then we're going to zoom in just a little bit and I'm going to go to system and there's a button that says device shutdown. OK, so if you're not an administrator of the board and so hopefully you know who your board administrator is, they can click this button right here and set up a startup and shut down time for your board. So, for example, at my school, I have them start up at 7 a.m. and then they shut down at 4 p.m. 
Now, just because the board shuts down at 4 p.m. doesn't mean you can't use it anymore. In fact, if you're doing a, an after school lesson or something like that, and you're by the board and it says shut down, you can simply tap to turn that off, or you can have your administrator come and help you adjust that time and make it last till 6 p.m. or something like that, and then we'll automatically shut down. Bonus tip for administrators, I also have another setting in there that says shut down at midnight. Not, so not start up at all, just shut down at midnight. So technically the board is shutting down twice, and the reason for that is, hey, if there is a teacher after school and they use it after your four o'clock or five o'clock or six o'clock hard shutdown time, that means at midnight again, it will shut itself down no matter what. So it's not on 24 seven. So that was my bonus tip for shutting it down for administrators. I hope this information helped you out. And again, I have a link to another video that shows you how to create a BenQ account linked below in the notes as well as on the screen right here again as well. So anywho, I hope this helped you out and have a griptastic day. Thanks.